Hey everyone, it's Kaya with exercisesforinjuries.com. Welcome to today's video, dynamic stretches to increase lung capacity and improve posture and breathing. So I'm going to take you through 10 different exercises. So our first one is a cat cow. So we're going to come down onto the floor into a tabletop position with our shoulders over our wrists, our hips over our knees. On an inhale, drop the belly down, lift the chest and tailbone up. Exhale, pull the belly button back towards the spine and round. So as we inhale, chest, forward gaze can come up. And then exhale, rounding, looking at the thighs. And then repeat. So that's our cat-cow. Stretch number two is a pec to rhomboid stretch. So you can do this from seated or standing. We're going to open up the arm, stretching across the chest, and then come forward, clasp the hands and pull, stretching between the shoulder blades. So opening up through the chest, you can inhale here and then exhale, pull the hands forward, stretch between the shoulder blades. And number three is a toe touch to an overhead reach. So we're going to reach for our toes. It's okay if you don't reach the toes. And then reach overhead. So forward fold here, reach for the toes, and then reach overhead. And if it feels okay, you can even a slight back bend open up through the front of the body, finding that space in the front. All right, number four, warrior sweeps. So we're coming into a warrior one position. So that's bringing one leg back, having it at about 45 degrees, so the toes are pointing um, 45 degrees from the front of the mat so that we can try to square the hips forward as we bend into that front knee. So you'll have to adjust your stance here to make it work. Arms reach up. So this is our warrior one. And as we sweep, we're gonna come forward over the thigh and sweep the arms back. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, sweep, not letting that knee come past the ankle. Warrior one to a sweep. And then repeating on the other side, warrior one to sweep. All right, moving on. Exercise number five, windmills. So this is a bit of a twisting exercise. So starting with our good posture, shoulders, hips, ankles, we're gonna hinge forward at the hips. If the hands can touch the floor, that's great. If not, you can either have them on the shins or have something on the ground to place your hand on. We're going to inhale, Reach up with the left hand, twist and exhale back. Then inhale, move open with the right, exhale back. So we're twisting side to side with our breath, using our core, and exhale back. Good. All right, coming back down to the mat number six, bird dogs. Finding that tabletop position again. We're going to lift the right leg and left arm, so opposite arm and leg. Holding here, trying to keep the hips parallel with the floor, so not letting that right hip drop or come up too high. Few breaths, and then lower back through center, switch sides, and hold, working on strength and balance here for a few breaths on the other side. All right, coming to a seat, however is most comfortable for you. We're going to come into some seated side reaches. So just a side bend here, so right arm can come up and over, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears as we open through the right side of the body. Holding and breathing. And then when you're ready to repeat, on the other side, left arm can come up and over, opening up through the shoulder, between the ribs, those intercostal muscles, maybe even down into the hips. And you can release. Coming into cobra for number eight, we'll come to lie on our front. We're going to place the hands a little bit in front of the shoulders and a little bit wider than we normally would. Press down into the mat with the tops of the feet, engage your core roll your shoulders down your back so nice open chest and a strong core as we start to press ourselves up so we're only pressing up as far as we can stay long in our spine and we can take deep breaths 
So we don't want any pain or compression in the lower back. If that's happening, then you need to ease out or maybe come into baby cobra with the hands underneath the shoulders and then actively pressing yourself up just part way up off the mat. Wherever you are, deep breaths as you open up through the abdominal muscles and you can release. All right, let's come on to our back for our last couple of exercises. Number nine is bridge. So feet are planted on the mat, hands can come beside the body. We're gonna press into our feet on an inhale, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes, and then on an exhale, come down. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, come down. Each time you go up, really squeeze your glutes at the top. Exhale, come down. Making sure you're not letting the knees come in or out. You're keeping them over top of the ankles. And then our last stretch is a supine full body stretch. Reaching as far as you can up with the um, fingers and down with the toes like you're just waking up in the morning. Finding as much space as you can between the fingertips and the toes. And then option to even move into a bit of a side bend. Reaching your hands from side to side. All right, so that brings us to the end of these dynamic stretches. I hope that you enjoyed them and that you find them useful. I hope to see you all in another video. Make sure to check out exercisesforinjuries.com for a bunch more resources and I will see you all later. Bye.